Hey, this is Steven at Seed Performance. Today we are going to re-upload uh, a video that we did about three years ago. So when we started this channel, my friend Clint and I, we were just making videos of things that we were building and uploading stuff just to, so that we could share it between friends. And then we had this build in mind that was going to eventually go into one of our own cars. And it's a car that will be used on the street, daily driver, something that would be fun to drive with a stick shift, but not something that's going to be having to run 94 octane. We wanted to build something that makes good horsepower and is fun to drive and exciting, but not going to be, you know, just killing you at the gas pump. So we've been playing with different rod to stroke ratios on different engines. We've built a small block Ford. Um, we took a 302. Um, build and put in a really long connecting rod on that. Actually, it was a tall deck block and put a six inch long connecting rod in that with a three inch stroke like a 302 would have. And that made over 475 horsepower. And it was going into a certain Mustang that uh, a customer had. And we've done other things with LS engines with long rods. And now this time, what we decided to do is fit a 283 small block Chevy crankshaft into a 400 block because we wanted the largest piston with basically the shortest stroke that we could in order to get a close to two to one rod to stroke ratio. So the 400 Chevy block normally has this big huge main that nothing else fits. Um, but what we came across actually it was from a scrap um, engine dealer that we buy cores from sometimes. He came by with this block that he found somewhere and it was a bow tie block that had been used and raced. It had already been rebuilt once, so the bore was 4.155. And this engine block actually was built by GM with the same size mains as a 350. So some of you old school guys out there would remember putting 327 cranks and 400s and that kind of thing. Um, but in this case, we were able to use the small journal crank with spacer bearings in this 400 block and basically fit this thing together where it normally wouldn't fit. People have made a lot of comments on the channel after watching these videos. How did you make the 283 crank fit a 400 Chevy? Well, it's because we happened to come across this block that was the perfect opportunity for us to do this crazy idea. And Boy, it's worked out really well. So um, the other thing too is that we love building stuff without breaking the bank. Um, pistons off the shelf, rods that already exist. Instead of getting something custom made that is going to cost four or five times as much as you would want to spend. So what we did is we used pistons that are actually just designed for a small block 400. Connecting rods that are from an LS motor, 6.1 inch long, they were scat. I-beam rods with ARP bolts. And the LS engine also has a large journal, rod journal. The 283 again is small journal. It's like two inch pin instead of 2.1. And uh, we found some bearings that King Performance makes in order to use a large journal rod on a small journal crank. Anyway, this uh, build went together very well. Um, we fit it with AFR cylinder heads, we put in a very mild hydraulic roller camshaft and with the combustion chambers that we, I think we ended up getting the, the combustion chambers made a little bit smaller or did we mill them? I don't remember right now, but we increased the compression to about 10.8 to one. And with 87 octane, this engine made over 500 horsepower. Now, on dyno number one, when we first tested this back about three years ago, it hit about 7,000 or 7,100 RPM, and we were thrilled with the horsepower, but there was a bit of valve float right at the top of the RPM range. So we decided, well, why leave it like that? I mean, we could have. We're probably never going to hit 7,000 out on the street cruising around. But for the sake of 
hey, let's make a change. We took the top end apart and put in some titanium retainers, lighten that up a bit. Um, Shim the spring pack, I think of maybe 80 thousandths or something, and then tested it again. And with the extra spring pressure, it fixed the valve float problem completely. And it made a, bit, a little bit more horsepower. I think it made 512 horsepower, and somewhere around 7,000 RPM. And the torque was about 435. So we thought that was pretty impressive with a three inch stroke crankshaft to make 435 pounds of torque. Um, but hey, who, who knows? Does it have to do with the two to one rod ratio or 2.1 to one rod ratio? Um, it's high compression, but it ran on 87 octane. So there's something there. You know, we've, we've done other engines with 327 cranks and a 400 block, and now we've done this 283 crank thing. Anyway, uh, it was an interesting project and it's worked out really well. It's been a lot of fun in the car that we've put it in. It's in a 1966 Beaumont and it's got a Tremec 5-speed behind it. Yeah. Still needs a little bit of work. It's due for a gear change, probably a posi. Um, but the purpose of this video is to re-upload dyno number two, it just, for some reason, hasn't got a lot of traction on the site. But we wanted to show what the fix was and um, also just give a bit more background as to what the engine was and what it is and the purpose of us building it. We did not design this thing to be an 8,000 RPM rever. A lot of people say, hey, it's got a three-inch stroke. It must, it must hit 8,000 RPM. Well, with more camshaft and a bigger intake manifold, yeah, probably would. But our purpose was to build something that was going to be really reliable, fun to drive, run on cheap gas, and not, um, not be something that's going to be really radical in, in town. We wanted something that has good vacuum for power brakes, that kind of thing. You drop your hand. Give him more, give him more, give him more. So this was my dad's car? <laughs> <laughs> Can't you tell? <laughs> it's awesome though, seriously. And um, I think we hit the nail on the head, so to speak. So I hope you enjoy the rest of this video as we show you dyno number two once again. Block up the wall. I missed it by nine tenths of a 